Chris Taylor couldn't believe it. How could things have changed so quickly? One day his dog was playing happily on the beach and the next he was gone Consequently Taylor vowed to warn others about the unexpected killer No other dogs would be victims if he could help it Beaches are a common sight across beautiful sun-drenched Florida and Tampa's no exception It's common practice for families to spend their free time topping up their tan and soaking in the sea And it's not just humans that enjoy the beach either along the shore You'll no doubt see many people making the most of the coast with their dogs it seems like the perfect opportunity for your fur friends to play the sand is soft on their paws There's plenty of running space and there's another bonus the ocean There's arguably nothing better than basking in the Sun on a hot day and then taking a cool dip It must be even greater if you're covered in fur like man's best friend No surprise then that some dogs just can't get enough of splashing through the sea That was the case with 29 year old Taylor's Labrador retriever dog OG just like the rest of his breed OG loved the water humans bred Labrador retrievers to fetch shot game Hence the name Waterfowl were popular prey so Labradors needed to be competent swimmers Consequently Hayward's best friend OG also had a passion for the water Taylor adopted him as a three-month-old puppy all wide-eyed innocence and curiosity OG had been at his human side ever since even as Taylor's life focus drifted to his career to be more specific Taylor had his heart set on becoming a high school teacher with this in mind He attended the University of South Florida to achieve his goal But whenever Taylor had some downtime OG would be ready to play on July 9th 2018 Taylor put his studying on the back burner for a much needed break Subsequently he decided to take his rest and relaxation with OG So they headed for a Tampa dog beach called honeymoon Island where Taylor's buddy could run and swim to his heart's content the pair spent hours on the beach that day, but just 48 hours later OG was dead Taylor expressed his surprise to inside edition on July 18th 2018. I Didn't think it could lead to his death. He said he loved to swim. He loved to play fetch Taylor initially noticed the change in OG when they returned from their trip that same day After a few hours the dog experienced some internal distress to be more specific OG suffered from bouts of vomiting and diarrhea and that was just the beginning The dog's health continued to deteriorate and on the next day. He was like a completely different animal Taylor described how his best friend hadn't seemed to know where he was Furthermore OG was so disoriented that he didn't recognize his human either He started to not acknowledge who I was Taylor said of OG. He would just walk into a corner and stare blankly Taylor was worried about his buddy and consequently rushed him to a veterinarian for emergency treatment unfortunately it was bad news The vet informed Taylor that OG had contracted salt water poisoning from all the seawater he'd ingested at the beach as a result They administered an IV drip to try and rehydrate him However, it was too late and the damage to OG was irreversible The salt water damaged OG's brain and he suffered a seizure as his human sat with him I saw him last night and he was convulsing a heartbroken Taylor told WFLA on July 12 2018 I asked if he was in pain the vet said I don't even think he knows where he is They told me there's nothing we can do right now Taylor continued. I thought this is my son. I don't have children of my own OG tragically passed away, but hopefully his distraught humans trauma will lead to other pet owners avoiding the sadness Medical professionals supported Taylor's warnings Dr. Jeff Werber a practice veterinarian educated inside edition on the subject of saltwater poisoning Salt water can be very dangerous for dogs he revealed and the problem is it's something most people don't even know about As Taylor found out salt water poisoning can occur very quickly, but if you're aware of the issue there are symptoms to look out for You might find your dog vomiting at first and having diarrhea because of the extra fluid buildup Werber elaborated The doctor continued ultimately you'll start seeing almost like a sign of them being lightheaded. They'll be dizzy They might shiver and shake another veterinarian Dr. Katie Meyer who works for Tampa Bay Emergency Veterinary Services concurs with Dr. Werber Dr. Meyer warned pet owners to be cautious in an interview with WFLA Things can come on gradually and you're not aware of how serious things are up front. She said so if the salt water affects your pet's brain seek help immediately 
and Dr. Meyer says that you should spend a maximum of two hours at the beach with your dog in addition take a break every half hour to provide pets with an abundance of fresh water a little extra caution could save you a world of heartache